Hi everybody, welcome back. Okay, today I'm going to talk about all the journals and notebooks that I'm using for 2017. I know I'm a little late in posting this, um, but things got a little busy and I was still actually trying to figure out what was going on for this year. Um, I knew I had my main journal planned out. Um, I think I had quite a few notebooks going into 2016 and I knew I wanted to kind of pare things down to what really worked for this year. And so far I'm liking what I've got um, and I'm just going to go from there. So obviously I think if you've watched any of my videos you know that I journal mo mostly in my uh, Camel Traveler's Notebook which is my main journal for everything. Um, in the end, this is where I use to scribble things, journal, memory keep, whatever, collage, art, everything. This is it. For travel, this is pretty much it. And um, I've kind of switched more into fountain pens. So I'm using less of my Vision, my Uniball Vision pen, but I do keep that there because it is waterproof ink. And I am currently using the Kuwaku Sport fountain pen. Very compact, very lightweight, with a, I think it's a medium or bold tip um, nib, I can't remember. And I am using, let me try to reach over here, is the Deatramentis, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, Jane Austen ink. Got that um, on Goulet pens. Unfortunately, it is not waterproof. Um, so trying to find an ink that is, but I really like it, obviously, because it's Jane Austen. Um, and I really find that I enjoy writing in dark green ink. So that was a really fun thing to um, come upon in trying out um, different ink samples. So, um, and I really liked the green that went with the camel collar, so that really complemented it. And that's my main journal. I probably will do an updated setup of that soon. And then my other main journal that I write in every day um, is going to be my one sentence a day five year record. I've talked about this in my previous, um, you know, current what's what journals I'm using. So. There are five lines and then you fill it out for every year. So as you go, you just flip through to the next page, you know, 2016. And what you do is just you summarize your day or you can write down a little happy memory that happened or, you know, something. You can do anything with it. But I really liked it because I knew that since moving to a new state and all of that, that there were going to be lots of cool new experiences and things that were going to happen. So I really wanted to record that. Um, I think I mentioned it in my last video too that I'm not too happy with the design because it's yellow and blue and just not really my kind of style, but it was the only one that I had come across at the time. I should have done more research because um, there are so many prettier ones. Um, no offense to Gretchen Rubin, but I'm just, I'm not really into the style. So um, I'm more into like, you know, the leather and all that. So. But I'm going to go with it for now. Um, I'm on the second year, so that's kind of fun to go back and be able to see what happened on that day. It's kind of like how Facebook does what happened on this day four years ago. Um, and that's just kind of a fun way to recap. And um, so if you're not really a journaler, you know, you're busy, um, and you only have like five minutes to, to kind of jot down your day or something, this would be a great one to do. I keep this at my bedside in my drawer and I write in it every night one sentence or two sentences that's pretty much it that's pretty much all it allows for it's just like a couple lines and so that's just like a fun way to focus on the positive and the good and end on a positive note um, so this kind of helped me kind of do a gratitude journal but not really sit there for like 10 minutes to think about, you know, bullet points of all these things that were, I was grateful for. This was a quicker way to do that because I've kind of, um, 
I did the gratitude journal I think for two years and I decided to forego that this year and make that combine that with this. So that really worked out. And then with this journal, I just keep one pen. I just happen to have this one on hand. It's the Muji 0.5 pen. So I just kind of keep that together next to my hand lotion and that's what I do every night. And then these are more of every few days, every other day kind of thing. This is my health journal. I've talked about this before. I got it from an Etsy seller. It was supposed to be a field note size, but obviously it is not. But I'm still very happy with the leather. And I mean, look how beautifully scratched up it is. And it has my initials on there. And I love the tie element. So I keep this kind of like tied up like this. I will just keep track of my health. And progress and um, you know stress progress and all of that so I keep some page flags in here and a Hello Kitty pen and a Palomino pencil blackwing pencil there and I still have the inserts that came with it not all of it's filled out because I don't write too much in here I kind of just do bullet points of how I'm feeling um, maybe special cases of like if I ate something like meal tracking notes and stuff like that it's got this nice pocket back here some business card slots so the layout of this is really really nice but I'm still currently on the hunt for a really good field notes leather cover in the meantime because I am using field notes um, for like creative writing so that is my health journal and that I don't write in every day, but I do mm, like weekly. And then moving on, this is one that I write in every other day or so. It's my junk journal. I did a flip through of that, which I can link down below. It's my Victorian ladies handbook, which is the theme of it. Um, so I kind of made it look really old timey and made it out of a really old book. As you can see, it's just kind of falling apart. And in here, I actually like to... It's kind of like a... Almost like a focusing on gratitude, like daily gratitude. But instead of saying, I'm grateful for this, this, and this, I actually journal all the little like simple pleasures of life so like a really good cup of tea what I'm drinking um, really good meals and recipes that I've made that week um, what else I've used it to keep track of I have a sourdough starter so if you're a baker you know what that is um, so I keep track of that so I'm and this is my first time doing a sourdough starter, so I'm keeping track of different notes. So I'm trying out different techniques, different flowers, and um, the progress of that. And each time I make a loaf, um, what are the results? Is there something that I can tweak? So just kind of everyday pleasures and focusing on the positive, happy little things. And that's what I'm using with this. And I am actually... Be to keep with the kind of Victorian old-timey theme, I am using specifically this stylus, which I get a lot of questions about. Um, I think I got it from like a pretty generic set from Barnes & Noble years and years ago. I think it must, I must have been in middle school or high school. And it came with like a bottle of ink or something. And um, Funny how I like I get so many questions about this, but I I love it. I love using this and so I use that with this journal And then reaching over here. I use this ink. It's the J Herbin ink um, Can't remember the name of the color, but it's kind of like this really cool chestnut brown color And you kind of have to give it a shake because there are gold flecks um, at the bottom so it kind of makes it that really nice shimmery chestnut reddish kind of color and it's really really cool it goes well with this whole journal so that's what I'm using 
as like every few days. I have my Camel Passport. This is what I use to throw into my bag if I don't feel like carrying around my huge sort of heaviest traveler's notebook. So if I've got a lot of things in my bag but I still want to bring a journal with, this is what I bring. And it's got my usual Uniball pen. This is card holder. I keep it very simple just because I don't use this as often. I have a grid paper insert and then a, a blank paper insert. And these are Midori numbered um, brass tags at the top here. And I mean, not too much with the setup. Keep a couple pound coins in there, just a pound coin and what is that? Five pence or something like that? 20 pence. Um, kind of just happy memories of England. But um, yeah, this is what I use for like, if I need to quick make a grocery list, if I want to jot down something that happened on, you know, wherever I'm going just to journal later, that's what I use for this. So this is really handy for quick notes and such. And then uh, finally, I've got my moleskin large sized notebook, which I used to keep track of all the books that I've read. Um, so I have it broken down by years. So currently, um, I mean, it's lined paper. And then I have, you know, just going back to 2017, I just write down all the different books that I've read, what date that I finished them, my little thoughts on it. And um, I've been doing this for years, so that's just currently what I've got. And um, so I use that anytime I finish a book, obviously. And those are the actual notebooks. Um, I'm going to mention my Hobonichi only because it's not quite working out as a planner for me. Um, and I think I might do a dedicated video on this separately just because I have a lot of thoughts on this, but I am not using it as much as I'd like. Um, as, as much as I love the paper and the cover and just the notebook itself, I don't know, maybe it's because I've just not got a lot going on in my life or something. It's just not jiving with me. And so I've been experimenting with different things to use this with. Because I use my traveler's notebook for basically all my journaling, I have no need to journal in here, which I know is what a lot of people like to do. And I'm not a person that does daily sketching all the time. I only do that when I feel like it. I don't art journal every day. And if I do I want to do it in my main journal. So I've been mainly using this as kind of my catch-all. Um, so it's a lot of like to-do lists, daily tasks, um, and meal planning. So I've been doing that for a couple weeks now. We'll see how that goes. But that's kind of what I'm doing. It's not necessarily a planner anymore. It's more just... Um, a notebook it's basically turned into just a regular notebook for me which is kind of sad because I really really wanted this to be a good planner setup so I'll do a separate video on that I think and um, I also thought to bring this out this is from a happy scrappy kit I got um, last year or the year before and it was kind of formatted to be a weekly planner insert and so I thought I would use that to actually experiment with meal planning in this format my thoughts were that um, because in the Hobonichi obviously you know it's a day it's a full day each page which I don't need for any reason at all um, that I thought maybe if I did meal planning like this, it'd be better use of the space, and then I can take notes of groceries and all that on this side. So, and I thought if that works out, I could probably get the horizontal weekly view for my traveler's notebook for next year or whenever this runs out. 
So those are my thoughts on that for meal planning because I really, really want to have a better system for meal planning. And so far this has been okay, um, but it's more for to-do lists than meal planning. And that is the whole gamut, all the notebooks that I'm using for 2017 and journals. Um, let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Um, I'm going to try to link some of these things down below if I can. This you can find on Amazon. Um, Travel's Notebook things you can find on Amazon too. Same for Moleskin, so that's really cool. And I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your journaling has been um, great so far. And I hope you're still continuing on that kind of creative journey and creative outlet. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.